I really think like I think the best way to have my kids, you know, you know, just cook it dry, you know, you tamba the low. How do you? If you dry your tomato, like it won't be like drier. No, I mean, cause you still have a bit of soup in it, but like after you put in the egg, you just let it dry off a bit more, and then it's just nice. Hey, wait, is it convocation next week? Yeah. So fast. Oh. Three years. Oh my god, it's only been three years. I will never forget the lecturer. Cool. Which one? You know lah, can be better lah. Hey, you need to project. Project. Like Don't worry, I will do it for you. That was good, but can be better, right? Right, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Wait, where's your sin anyway? Is he walking from the curb or what? Probably. Again? Hey guys. Yo, Let's where you been? Where you go? I was having an interview just now. Interview? Yes. So, how did it go? Well, I think you guys know it. Great. Fantastic. Bad. You went bad. How bad? How bad? I show my shoulder resume CV to them, but they aren't that impressed. I'm not sure what, what I did wrong just now from there. I think I lost my confidence there. You mean, are students difficult to get a job or what? Well, no. Students like us, degree or even diploma, I think there's, there's more likely no guarantee to have a job. I'm not sure why. Is there something wrong? Ah. So it's not as easy as something like accountants. I mean, really, there's literally millions of accountants out there and I don't know, somehow they're just able to get jobs somehow. And if you're going to talk about something like film, it's just not that easy. I have one friend who's taking accountancy. He says having a job for him is easy as ABC. So, what's, so what is the problem there? You know when you're talking about accountancy, uh... Like the country needs accountancy more than filmmaking stuffs and all that. So it like it's like our art students and all that, we are in the part of the minority. Yeah, we're in the part of minority. The majority workers are all the accountancy and all the science stuff, medics and all that. You know, like my parents are. My dad is a science student and my mom is an economist and then there's me with the animation stuff, the drawing and the 2D, 3D and all. Even my sister studies language. You see all my parents and sisters' jobs are like professionals. You can see like the image. It's like they, they have this image, you know, like very professional. And then like, I feel like, you can see I'm not fit in this professional image family, you know, right? Okay. And, you know, our, our course is like worthy, but it's not as worthy as them. But like, don't you feel like, you feel a bit proud, you know, being a part of a minority. You feel special, right? Ah, yes, that's the word, special. Yeah, that's the word. I think that's the word we all kind of agree mm -hmm. on, right? Mm -hmm. Special. You do all this cool stuff, you know, film, animation, people are like, wow. But, you know, at the end of the day, you're just gonna come back and think that that big family gathering is gonna happen, right? And all your cousins are gonna come back and you're gonna feel that peer pressure because they're all like, Doctors, lawyers, engineers, accountants, just name it, everything, right? And they're just gonna show their big salary, all their successful um, resume and all that. Then they're just gonna come up to you and ask, oh, so what are you doing? And I'm just gonna say, you know, interior design, you know, I'm just gonna tell them what my classes are about, be happy about it, right? Then they just try to put me down, you know, just make, make you feel bad, you know, that, oh, that, that's not like a proper job and things like that. But, when they start talking about their life, you know, their jobs, and they sound even worse, they're like more stressed than me, and then, and then at that point, I'm just like, oh, I, I pity you, man. Like, that they're and sad. I agree. Right? Because every day I yamcha with my friends, I found out their smile is less day by day now. Last time they are not like this. They are, they are happy person. I think it starts from when they go to college and. It's too stressed for them. They tell me that. It's not friend, it's classmate for them. And for us, I meet a lot of friends and people who I love here. Yeah. And I learn a lot here. And my mom worked three jobs, days and nights, for send me here. Sometimes I feel, uh, yes, I'm selfish. But I think she was happy to see me chase my dream. And what I need to do now is achieve my dream and make her proud. And this is prideless.
You know, it's it's kind of hard to believe it's already been three years, huh? Mm. Yeah. Do you guys still remember like what it's like during the first semester? Oh. Basic drawing? Oh. We don't talk about first semester. Who could forget, right? I could barely hold a pencil back then, and they were expecting me to draw? Crazy or what? You know, my dad used to be in film. And when I told him that I wanted to take up filmmaking, he was looking at me like, you crazy or what? You wanna die, is it? But, after some time, you know, he would come back and he'd tell me that he's proud of me. And I would come back home with my projects, I would show them to him and he would just, you know, he'd criticize them, he'd tell me how to improve and, you know, just how to make it better. My mom, on the other hand, she's still wondering why I'm not getting that law degree. <laughs> But you know, whether they decide to show it or not, our parents do support us quite a bit. I mean, how many people do you know can honestly say that, you know, they're doing something that they love? Hell, our parents, they put so much faith into us doing what we love, despite knowing that there's literally no guarantee that we're gonna make it out there. And hell, I think the least we can do is get out there and make the best out of ourselves. Because this is what we wanted to do. It's what we love. And you know, as someone always says, if you love your job, you don't have to work a day in your life. Next one, uh... Yeah, yeah. That's right. Previously, I had very little to no interest to anything. You know, I was the kind of kid that just did everything or like, um, kind of so-so with everything and then suddenly I had this interest. Oh, I want to do interior design. And then they were like surprised. Oh, you fairly want to do something. As you said, I come alone. And after all, come along and I meet some friends, the gang friends. We have same passion, we do the same things. It's like a journey for me, it's like a journey. What I learned the most is how to cooperate with my teammates, how to do my own directing skills, everything. How to write my own stories. That's my objective, learning film and TV production. So, now they are support you? Previously, they didn't really support, but like, yeah, you know, like, it's like end of the year, end of our studies already, we're gonna graduate soon. I think I think they can see already doing what I love does really helps. It's gonna it's gonna help me in the future. I can feel it. If there's one thing I could say to my parents is that I wanna say thank you so much for letting me do what I love. From what had started as a you know a, a funny little hobby I did when I was 13, it's almost unbelievable that I'm actually able to do this as my career and I only hope that I'll be able to make you proud someday.